team remains cautiously optimistic, noting he's fever-free and off supplemental oxygen. Earlier today, Dr. Conley would not answer repeated direct questions about whether the president has ever needed oxygen. He's not received any supplemental oxygen? He's not on oxygen right now, that's right. He has not received any at all? He's, he's not needed any, but any uh, this morning, today at all, that's right. The Associated Press and New York Times reporting President Trump was given oxygen Friday before being hospitalized. There was additional confusion about when the president first tested positive. Dr. Conley saying the president was 72 hours into his diagnosis. That would mean he knew he was ill when he traveled to a Minnesota rally and a New Jersey fundraiser. The doctor later saying he misspoke and President Trump tested positive on Thursday. Tonight, as the president wages war with COVID, an army of supporters keeping vigil outside the hospital. To Washington, D.C., that have tested positive for COVID-19. This includes former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who checked into a hospital today out of precaution. We also know three White House reporters have now tested positive. Here in Texas tonight, 19 additional COVID-19 deaths and more than 3,300 new cases. That includes 418 cases in Tarrant County. Hospitalizations are on the rise again in North Texas, up 13% in one week's time. And UT Southwestern Medical to stay healthy and live. The Rodriguez family lost one of their extended family members to COVID in April. They say it was heartbreaking not to be able to visit them in the hospital or attend their funeral. Fall.